Hello everyone, uh, we have learned how to draw the uh, band square, how to find the ratios, how to find the percentage. Uh, now we want to continue talking about how to express the genotype and the phenotype uh, and how can uh, uh, we use another way to know them by uh, the new thing we want to talk about it, which is uh, pedigree. Um, so what is the pedigree? Actually, for pedigree is another tool used to study patterns of inheritance. Uh, pedigree traces the uh, occurrence of a trait through generations of a family. Pedigrees can be useful in tracing sex-linked disorders. What are sex-linked disorders? Before we start about talking about the pedigrees and how to do it, uh, actually, for the sex-linked uh, disorders, I want to remind you about this first. You remember this karyotype, and we said the chromosomes, they are found as homo, uh, 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 homologous chromosomes in pairs. And we said about the last pair of the chromosomes, they are the sex chromosomes, and they are determine the genders. These chromosomes, sometimes they are carrying some, uh, dis, uh, some uh, 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 actually, uh, some uh, some genes actually they here so six linked disorders are they are uh, some traits they are depending on the gender so they are carried okay so the genes are uh, carried in chromosomes and the six chromosomes they are called what uh, six linked uh, genes here and actually some disorders they are uh, only uh, determined by the uh, gender for male if it is male he can uh, carry this uh, disease and if it's a female carry this disease and these are called what sex linked disorders or disorders associated with an allele on sex chromosome okay so uh, example uh, uh, for example for a woman who is heterozygous for trait is called a carrier again a uh, woman, you know, you if you remember, we said for the woman is also carrying uh, it's only carrying X X chromosomes. You remember? And these X X chromosomes, when we go back to this one, to the karyotype, uh, imagine this one is X X. Okay, I'm going to do it as X X. I'm going to make it longer and make it as X X. For the woman, okay, here as they mentioned. Here, for the woman uh, who is heterozygous for a trait a uh, called carrier, yani, for example, for this woman here, I want to go back to this chromosome, and it's carrying an X chromosome, uh, this, uh, sorry, carrying uh, one X, it's carrying a, an allele uh, for uh, for a, a disease, uh, it's not a disease, okay, a, a disease, but it doesn't contain, has this disease, yani, this uh, woman, she doesn't have this disease, but only carrying this one on its uh, allele, okay, uh, in her allele, and she is called carrier because she can carry or pass on the trait to her offspring, but actually she's not having this disease, okay, examples of six linked uh, diseases, um, uh, or uh, disorders uh, such as homophilia and uh, color blindness are caused by an allele on the X chromosome. Okay, uh, so for example, for if the uh, if this woman, uh, for example, uh, for example, uh, um, a woman is it has XX. This is the uh, this is the mom, and the dad he has what XY, right? So actually, for the uh, for the mom to give like a boy, so it's gonna give what the probability x y, right? So if one of these x's is carrying a disease, okay, and this one he has a, a took this uh, chromosome which has this disease, okay. So this the the mom. She doesn't contain had uh, she doesn't has this disease, but when she's giving this one to her son, 
Actually, this son, he has now this disease because he has only X chromosome. Okay, not X, X. He has only one X chromosome. You understand this one? So, women have two X chromosomes. So, a woman can have uh, one allele for color blindness. Yani imagine this one, woman, she's carrying the carrying, uh, color blindness. It will give it to her son. But actually, if she, and she uh, but she doesn't have this color blindness like, without being color blind for this woman. Okay, a woman who is heterozygous for this trait is called carrier. And here heterozygous, one of her X chromosomes is carrying the color blindness uh, allele, but the other one, she doesn't have uh, this disease, okay, uh, carrying this disease, and, uh, because she can carry or pass on the trait to her offspring. Men have just one X chromosome, as I told you, this one here, okay, for uh, so a chromosome. In men, this single chromosome determine if this tra if the trait is present or not. Yani, I'm going to give you example, or to make it more clear for you. Uh, for example, a woman, we said she has X X chromosome, and the man again he has what X Y chromosome, right? Hello. For the for the woman, how many X chromosomes? There are two. For the man, how many X chromosomes? Only one. So if the man X chromosome, he has he's carrying on it the allele that causes the color blindness. So this man he will he has this disease. Okay. But for the woman, if one of these X has or carrying the allele with the color blindness, it's gonna be carrier, okay? And it will pass it to her offspring, a carrier, because here uh, the color blindness it's recessive. So only if when is she she's gonna be a color blindness? Only if the two X chromosomes have carrying this allele for color blindness. You understand this one? Okay, tap. Hello. For this one here, the pedigree. Let's go to the pedigree. Here I explained uh, for uh, for the uh, sex-linked uh, disorders. Uh, here it shows uh, how can a pedigree trace a trait uh, through a generations. Pedigree can be useful in tracing inherited disorders such as uh, cystic uh, fibrosis. This one also is a sex-linked chromosome a, a disease. Uh, this one here, the uh, square, as you see, represent a male, and the, uh, the square, uh, the sphere here is represent a female. This is the first generation. Let's look at the first generation. Hello, for the first, uh, the f these are the parents. These parents, they give what? They give uh, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five offsprings. Okay. For the first one, as you, as you see, the. Uh, you have to look at this one here. A vertical line connect children to their parents. Okay, uh, so here the or this is a square. A solid square or a circle indicates that the person has a certain trait. Okay, uh, a half half filled square or circle indicates that the person is carrier of that trait. So as you see here, look how these are the carriers. And how they are giving the at the end this of a spring, they are having a two they don't have two they are carrier, and uh, they are uh, here two uh, they are carrier one uh, he has uh, exactly this trait. Okay, uh, if you look at this one here number five, uh, he has a breeding with or uh, uh, here uh, married another one, the male, female, but she doesn't contain this uh, uh, this disease. So this disease will pass to the what to the uh, offspring for both offspring. These are carrier, the one offspring uh, his carrier, and the other two they are they don't have uh, this uh, uh, this allele. So if this carrier married with a man. He has or carried uh, this one. Uh, they will give uh, if they are three, two. They will be. They have this trait, and one uh, he doesn't have. The only a carrier. She is only a carrier for a female here. So this is here like uh, in general. Okay, uh, let's talk about this one. 
uh, here. So this one, I want you to know it, but only in general. Yani, don't focus. I want you to focus only on the um, uh, in the Bennett square in more uh, details. Okay. Uh, now uh, I want you to uh, look at your book. It's your general for your uh, general information. One hundred forty-three, uh, saving the uh, European uh, mouthlone. Uh, Actually, here scientists they use the genetic technique to show how the European mouthlone she uh, sheep can be saved from extinction. Okay. Uh, when a, a very small population of animals uh, interbreeds, there is a greater risk that harmful genetic conditions may appear. That's why uh, they are telling uh, for um, to marry uh, uh, female or male by, from uh, yani strange and not to take from the same family. Okay, so researchers can identify and breed genetically uh, dissimilar European uh, mufflon in a laboratory. Uh, through this process, scientists hope to lower the risk of inherited uh, disorders. So this one here for in general, if you still have a question about them, you can send me your question. Uh, thank you for listening.